killing me. You're killing me. Hi, everybody. I'm Jordan, and I have a data problem. It seems it's become a polarizing issue lately. There are those of us who pride ourselves in being data nerds, and frankly, though, those, there are those of you that are probably calling us nerds. And this might be from the inundation of school-wide data initiatives or gradebook data or learning management data. Or it might be that we're worried about our own capacity. And so I think there's an easy solution to this, and that's using our eyes more. And I'd like to walk you through a few examples. It's the fall. I'm an eighth grade math teacher. And my gradebook looks like that. And it's hard for me to make sense of what my students know and don't know from looking at this sort of data. And I'm a math teacher, and I'm still struggling to see the patterns and the visual, um, visual learning that's taking place in this gradebook. So I took a common assessment from this year and from last year, and I made a visual. And now I can begin to see the patterns that are emerging, that my current students have a little less variation, that I have some high outliers that I need to identify, and I start tailoring my instruction to meet those students. Or maybe you work in ed programs, and you look at a cohort like this in a spreadsheet with colors tracking cohorts. It's hard to tell what the students here are going to inherit what they know and don't know. So I made a visual. And now as a middle school teacher, I can see the differences in both my elementary students and my middle school students. And I can start predicting what my program will need to do to adapt to these new learners. I'd like to share with you another example. A colleague of mine was trying to close the gap in math fluency. And these were the three assessments she gave to a group of 22 students. We had no idea if this had closed any gaps, if this new math app had done its trick until we made it visible. And we could clearly see that the gap had widened. Each line is a student, or sorry, it had narrowed. Each line is a student, each dot is an assessment. And I think the reason this is working is best illustrated in a visual from Danish physicist Tor Nora Trandest, who noticed that the bandwidth of the senses shows that our eyes have the same bandwidth as a computer network. And if we can harness that power, we, the patterns within the numbers, and we form new relationships with those numbers in ways we couldn't in the past. So I'd like to leave you with one more example. I worked with a counselor last year who was trying to measure stress levels of middle school students. And she sent out a survey to her students asking for how often they experience stress. Her results look like that. So we worked together to color code, to categorize and to uncover the data stories of these learners. And it became very clear that the largest stressors on our student body were school and activity commitments, particularly tests and homework. And so we worked together to develop mindful strategies and meditation strategies. And we incorporated it into our advisory program and home base. And we ran this study again. And this time, we put, made the visual a pre and post model. And we can see that both homework and tests had a small but noticeable decrease. And I think when we can take messy spreadsheets that look like this and turn them into beautiful stories that change the well-being of our children and improve their learning, well, that's truly beautiful. <laughs>